please give up my awesome brother, Dave O'Neill! Thanks very much. Great to be here. Bit of a mix. I'm actually the stripper. Let's get into it. Here we go. Woo! Been an honour for you, mate. Get up here. Did you order an 08 48 year old man? Because that's what I've come dressed as. And uh, it's a pretty convincing costume, isn't it? Oh, yes. Thanks very much for your support. <laughs> Said that a bit loudly. But anyway, that's fair enough. I'm a large man. Uh, look, straight out. Look, you know, it's a school holiday. It's on, which is hard for me. I've got three kids. Spent a lot of time in the park. Yeah. The park's shit, you can't drink there anymore, you know what I mean? You can't stand there with your VB and your cigarette. Everyone judges you down there. The other day I had like an orange juice bottle, some garden hose and some blue tack and... Uh, <laughs> making a bong anyway, whatever. Uh, got it out of Frankie magazine. Anyway, it was pretty good and... There's some weird names going around though. With kid, this guy goes to his kid, Atticus, come here with your Atticus. And I go, what's the name of your kid? Abacus, that doesn't add up. <laughs> he goes, no smart ass, it's Atticus. And I go, where's that from? He goes, it's from To Kill a Mockingbird. And it stands for truth and justice. And one day I want young Atticus to grow up and be a lawyer and fulfill those dreams. He goes, what's your son called? I went, oh, him? That's Barney. <laughs> He's like, where's that from? I go, the Flintstones. <laughs> One day I wanted to grow up and drive a car with his feet, you know? <laughs> Work in a quarry with a bloke called Fred and go, yabba dabba dee! Atticus will be going to private school, there's no doubt about that. I heard, no doubt. I mean, I'm not against private schools. I mean, boarding school sounds awesome, you know? Like, drop off your kid at eight, pick him up at 18. That'd be great. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Schools have changed, though, since all of us went. Tell you what, son comes home from school. He goes, Dad, guess what? We had an opening today of something very special. Guess what? I said, well, you've already got an organic veggie patch and a wood fire pizza oven, so uh, a Pilates centre? Um, no, Dad. We had the opening of the friendship tree. I go, what's a friendship tree? He goes, Dad, don't laugh. It's a special tree you can go to if you're feeling sad and lonely and you can meet other sad and lonely kids. <laughs> he goes, did you have a friendship tree at your school, Dad? I said, yeah, it was called Behind the Shelter Sheds, mate. And, um, <laughs> Mate, if we had a friendship tree, we'd have waited by it for kids to turn up and bash them, so... <laughs> and art class has changed a lot. Oh, my God, I went, to, I went to Barney's art class. Like, art has got very Steiner. Now, do you guys know what Steiner is? Of course you do. It's an alternative form of education, right? It's like, take off all your clothes, rub cheese on your body. <laughs> You're ready for uni, off you go, see you later. You're a beautiful person. <laughs> so, we go for an art walk by the creek, right? It's all about the outdoors, and it's very Steiner, we go by there. And the teacher grabs all the kids and gathers them around and goes, OK, preps, OK, children, what I want you to do, I want you to go off into Mother Nature and fossick and forage and bring back a bit of the environment and we're going to turn into an art masterpiece. Go, children, be free! <laughs> and all the preps are like, really? And they just run. There's like prison break, you know what I mean? Like, and so the kids come back eventually. Like, first kids back's Horizon. Uh, that's her real name. And... Uh, <laughs> Horizon comes back with gum nuts. Uh, it's not a child, some actual gum nuts. Uh, there is a gum nuts, but he was sick that day. And uh, the teacher goes, oh, that's lovely. What are you going to turn those into, Horizon? I'm, I'm going to make a koala. Oh, beautiful. Here's some cheese. Off you go. See you later. <laughs> Next kid's back, summer and winter. They're their real names. They hang out. Winter's a bit depressed, you know. Summer's all perky. We've got long blades of grass. Oh, they're beautiful. What are you going to turn them into? Oh, we're going to make a mat. Oh, beautiful. There's some cheese. Off you go. See you later. <laughs> we're standing around waiting for one kid, my son, Barney, to come back. <laughs> Finally, he wanders out of the bushes. True story, holding an empty can of VB. <laughs> like this. <laughs> you see this look on his face. Oh, I'm going to stuff that up here. Here we go. The poor Steiner teacher's freaking out. She's like, oh, Barney, oh, what, have you, what are you going to turn that into? He goes, nah, nothing. I'm just returning it to Dad. <laughs> uh, so I was a little bit in it, so I necked it. And, uh, oh. 
Guys, you've been good. I've been Dave O'Neill. Thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dave O'Neill.